It's Valentine's Day in the Loud House. It's like there's a blowout sale happening in my heart. For this family, Valentine's Day is all about doing what you love to do. So let's find out where each Loud will spend their special day with the Loud House Valentine's Day Guide. First up, Lincoln. Should he spend Valentine's Day at the state park? I'm gonna lie down on this nice, soft rock. Not a rock! There! <laughs> um, based on what happened last time, that's a no. But maybe the park's the perfect place for Lisa. She's had her heart set on finding a new species. <gasps> Sweet mother of scientific discoveries! It's an owl with deer antlers! Nailed it! But where's Lincoln gonna go? I know, he loves Gus's games at Grub. They have a two-for-one deal. He can go with Ronnie Ann as a friend. Should we do this? I'm game if you are. Dance battle starts! Oh, watch this. Yeah! Uh, oh, I've got a better... Sweet moves! Our next loud is Luann. How should she spend Valentine's Day? It's true that I do a whole lot of joking, but I have feelings too, and this pie is a token. <laughs> I guess you really fell hard for me. <laughs> Get it? Well, since she loves telling jokes at the Royal Woods Comedy Club, the Chortle Portal is the perfect place for her. The punchline is piece of cake. <laughs> Oh, his delivery was a little crummy. <laughs> Live, laugh, love. Lucy's next. What should she do for Valentine's Day? Oh, Edwin, I know you're forbidden to love a mortal like me, but I can't resist your piercing gaze, your sparkly skin, your icy lips. Mm -hmm. Well, since her one true love is a mortal, maybe the Royalwood Cemetery would be a cool place to visit. Fly her to the tomb! This is making us feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Ah, oh, the futility of life. Am I right, Silas? Oh. Okay, moving on. Next up is Lola. Maybe she'd like to celebrate Valentine's Day at camp. To earn the rod and reel patch, you must catch a fish. Everyone grab a squiggly worm. <laughs> okay, so Lola doesn't love that idea, but Lana loves all these things, so camp will be perfect for her. Caught him with my bare hands so I could keep this guy for myself. But how's Lola gonna celebrate? There's really only one way into this girl's heart. Brilliant pageantry. It's Lola. So Miss Liza's pageant training center is the perfect pageant place for this princess. Whoa, that was hard to say. Lynn's the next Valentine's volunteer, and she's got a huge crush on competition. Yeah, you want to lose, Lynn? Huh? 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 You want to be the mayor of Loser Town? Huh? Then get your head in the game. Huh? Maybe she should go to Hole in Wonderland. That way, the only score she has to beat is her own. Oh, yeah, baby! I win! Winner, winner, chicken dinner! Lynn might love competition a little too much. Our next loud is Luna. She loves rock and all things British. I love it, love this song. Sing it like you mean it, Meg. The obvious spot for her and Sam is bangers and mosh. Uh, I don't see Sam anywhere. Maybe Sam's hidden behind that dork in the big British hat. Whoa, that dork is sitting with Mom. Oh, it's Dad. Uh-oh, we forgot Mom and Dad love to go on dates here. At least we know where they're gonna be. But where can Luna show her affection for her rock obsession? The Royal Woods Opera? She turned that opera into a opera. Nobody in this family's going to the opera for Valentine's Day. I know, she can go see Mick Swagger play at the Royal Woods Mall Auditorium. Rock and roll nation, transformation, total mutation. Stage dive! Rock on, Luna. Speaking of the Royal Woods Mall, you know who could give you a ride? Lenny. She was on her way there anyway because she adores shopping. Oh. Woo! All day long, baby! Treat yourself, girl! But that's not the only reason she should spend Valentine's Day at the mall. Her crush, Chaz, also works there. 
Shopping's great, but Lenny's love don't cost a thing. On to the smallest valentine of the group, Lily. She's going to spend the day at home with her favorite teddy. And finally, Valentine's Day wouldn't be complete without the most lovey-dovey couple in the Loud House, Lori and Bobby. Boo-Boo Bear! Babe! Even though they've had their fair share of love fails. Babe, we can slow down now. No, we can't! I booked a romantic balloon ride and it's leaving without us! Wait! Come back! I already paid! <sighs> it's okay, babe. It was a really sweet idea and... <gasps> Keep doing that. Should they go to Gus's games and grub? Bobby, this has got to... Hey, babe, look, I won you these. Thanks for being so cool about me hanging with Lincoln. She probably won't want to hang with Lincoln and Bobby. They created quite a bromance last time. Uh, hey, Bobby, look, tic-tac-toe. Or as I like to call it, tic-tac-bro. Bro! <laughs> I know, Jean Juan's French Mex restaurant is the perfect place to taco about love. Oh, Bobby Boo Boo Bear. Hot frog tamales coming through. Yes, Clyde will be there too. That's it, we've done it. The Louds are ready for one heck of a Valentine. Comment below with your Valentine's Day plans. See you next time on the Loud House Valentine's Day Guide. Now, check out this sneak peek from a brand new episode. Once more unto the breach, dear thespians. Which is theater talk for? Let's try that kissing scene again. Come on, Luann. It's just a kiss. You've got this. Oh, oh no, you don't. Hey, everybody. Can't wait to rehearse. Whoa! Heavens, my dear girl! Are you okay? Oh, it's nothing. Probably just a slipped disc. No pun intended. <laughs> ow! I mean, ow! 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 Rehearsal's canceled for today! Whew. Okay, come on, Luann. No more stall tactics. You have to do this. Comrades, look to the skies! It's... This is Bernardo! Where's my Romeo? Where's my Juliet? Chop, chop, it's kissing time. Oh. And action. Then move not while my prayer's effect I take. <laughs> Wait, uh, I have an idea. Um, um, instead of a kiss, why doesn't Juliet just, uh, send Romeo a text? A text? I think a kissy emoji and a heart would really get the message across. Luan, what you are suggesting is... You are a genius! A modern take on a classic. Bravo! Prop department, I need cell phones for Romeo and Juliet. Pronto! Want to see more videos like this? Be sure to subscribe. Oh, and also leave a comment and let us know what you want to see right here on Nickelodeon's YouTube channel.